Hi, my name is Mark, and I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor and an Adobe Community Professional. And this is 10 Hacks with Captivate and the Creative Cloud. In this episode of Captivate and the Creative Cloud, we're going to show you how you can increase your productivity with your projects by creating an efficient, fast storyboard using Captivate Draft. So here I am in Photoshop, and you can use a normal storyboard, which can be sketched on paper, or as you see here, I have an actual storyboard laid out. And you could start, you know, creating your storyboard. So my next section here would be Captivate and Captivate Draft, and I can, you know, easily paste photos in here and I can start creating a storyboard like this just so I have an idea of maybe how many slides I'm going to have in my project and you know just to get my ideas on paper or a faster might, way might be using the Creative Cloud. So here I'm going to go into uh, to show you my iPad here and I'm going to click into an app called Captivate Draft. In Captivate Draft it's a pretty simple application and you'll see there's two choices here. There is a sample storyboard or I can, on the left, I can create a new storyboard. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus to create a new storyboard. So I'm just gonna create some text, and I'll write Captivate and the Creative Cloud. And I can take that text and increase the font size. And of course, change the font if I needed to or wanted to. I'll increase it, I'll put it right to the, to the top, and maybe I'll add a little background. So I could also use gestures in the app. So instead of clicking on the triangle and selecting a square or a rectangle, I could just draw that with my finger. I could just draw a rectangle, and you'll see it snaps to a shape. I could then click on the color, maybe choose some kind of captivated screen. I could spread that out, maybe put that to the top for my header, and I could just bring it a layer down, and now I have a header and a title. And if I want to add an image, I can use another gesture. I can just come into the stage and just draw a quick X, which though is an image. I can go to my gallery, click on this little Creative Cloud logo, and put that in place. Okay, so now I have my first screen. Maybe I could also add some audio. And another gesture for audio would just be a little squiggle. I'm just going to record some audio for my presentation. Captivate and the Creative Cloud. All right, so we'll save that for later. So now I have some audio, and I could click this little plus button on the right, which adds a new slide. So I could also slide next to the plus, there's a little gripper. And if I slide that out to the left, you'll see that I have two slides, slide one and slide two, or slide six in this case. And if I click and hold on slide six, I have the icon to delete on the right-hand side. So I can delete that slide. And now on the left side, I can hit the left icon to duplicate this slide. So I don't start from scratch. I start with kind of like a template. Okay, I'll go inside of slide two, slide eight in this case, and maybe I could click on the image and swap it out. Maybe we'll swap it with uh, Captivate Draft. We'll change the title real fast to Captivate and Captivate Draft. So just getting my ideas together on the computer just to get an idea of my presentation here and the project that I'm going to create. I can click on the little flow chart again on top. I can go to my slide seven and I click on the image, go to my gallery and swap that out. And we can talk about something coming up, which is Captivate and Adobe Type Kit. And of course, I can change the audio for my second slide. I could just do a squiggly line. And I can record Captivate and Captivate Draft. Okay, I'll go to my third slide, Type Kit, and I'll do the squiggly again. Captivate and Adobe Type Kit. Okay, so now I have a three page presentation or slides, slideshow, I guess you can say. And if I click on the top corner, there's a little question right here. And that you can see all the gestures that I've been discussing or actually drawing here. So you see this little right carrot for video, 
I can create circles, triangle and square shapes, a line. There's a squiggly for text, and here's a squiggly for sound, and here's a little web object that I can add. So pretty neat. So now I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna close this, gestures, and I'm gonna click on this little top grid icon here. That's where I can see all of my projects. And you see we have this project from Captivate Draft called Draft 4. I'm gonna click on that project, and you'll see on the top now when it's selected, it shows a trash can, the duplication icon, and of course I can push it up to the cloud. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press on that little cloud button. It goes up to the Adobe Cloud. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into my computer, and I'm gonna show you how we can load this draft, which is really fast, our storyboard, into Captivate. So here I am in Captivate, and in Captivate, you'll see I can open up a blank project, and next to that, it says, I can open up a project from Adobe Captivate Draft. Amazing. I'm gonna click on the Create button. It's gonna have me locate my Captivate Draft. I'm gonna to go to my Creative Cloud Files, and inside the Creative Cloud Files, I should see a folder for Captivate Drafts, there it is. And there's my Draft 4 that was just added in. I'm gonna double click to open this up. And here we are. I am inside of Captivate, and I went from Captivate Draft, uploaded to the cloud, and boom, I have a project. Let's just take a little quick preview of this project. Captivate and the Creative Cloud. Captivate and Captivate Draft. Captivate and Adobe Typekit. So pretty neat. I just created a little quick storyboard with my ideas in Captivate Draft, and now it's a full-fledged project and ready to go. Hope this helped. See you next time. <laughs>